He just needs a good night's kip. He'll be all right. <laughs> Do you remember when Robbie bought me that birthing pool? Yeah. We dived straight in, didn't we? Uncle Robbie? No, no, no. no. <laughs> Where's the aunt? <laughs> I was really annoyed. Yeah. Do you remember when he went missing that time? Blimey, yeah. He was gone for ages. Yeah, like two or three weeks. They found him up north somewhere, didn't they? Oh, I can't remember. I think he turned up in the arches in the end. Oh, he's been through it and come out the other side. Got nothing to worry about now. Come this time tomorrow, he'll be sitting there, scoffing leftover chilli, and we'll all be laughing about this. I think he needs to sleep, Mum. Yeah. Yeah, darling. I think you're right. Dad? Yes, son? Where do dogs go when they die? I don't know, really. Uh, but what I do know, uh, he ain't gonna be sick no more. Will he go to the same place as Grandad? Yeah. yeah I think he will. That's good then, ain't it? I mean, because then someone can take him for a walk. I think when people die and when dogs die, they go to this place, like the countryside or the seaside. I hope it's sunny there. It is. And people fly kites and there's lots of ice cream. And dogs can eat as many bones as they want. Yep, that's what I think happens to people and dogs. But I'm not sure about cats or hamsters. Kids, uh, this is Douglas. He's come to help Willa go to sleep. He is very tired. He's, uh, he's over a hundred in dog years. He's had a good long life. Sit in the kitchen, eh? I'm gonna stay here. 